Hello everybody, this is Mr. Benoit again. This is our teen and adult beginner class. Like we did on Monday, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter lesson. We're going to aim for about 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Face here, show up. Show his attention. Come yet. Just bow. And when you say, come up to me, da. When you bow, that's one way to show respect here. I'm going to actually go over a couple more Korean words today, but first let's get our bodies a little bit warmed up. I'm going to start with jumping jacks. 20 jumping jacks. Do your best. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, down for push-ups. 10 of your best push-ups. Again, if you need to do it from your knees, that's fine. If you need to make adjustments, whatever, just do your best. 10 push-ups, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. When you're done, have a seat. Fifteen sit-ups all the way down, all the way up. We're going to work a lot on our balance today, so these core muscles are really going to help with that. Fifteen sit-ups. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. When you're done, put your legs apart. Reach up and down to your left side. as far as you can hold, trying to bob up and down. Switch other side. Relax, spread out a little bit farther and reach down in the middle. Relax, boom in slow, legs together, reach up and down towards your toes. You can't grab your toes, just grab your ankle, or your pant leg or whatever, grab something to hold. Good, stand back up and shake it out. So we have horse back riding stance, a pokey center punch exercise. One hand out, one hand in. My command, hut up, toe, set, nip, toss it. Try to make each punch right in the middle. We're going for a solar plexus, which is in the middle of our chest right here. Um, about where my uniform makes the exercise, so you guys might not have the karate form on, but right in the middle of your chest, that's your solar plexus, or myung chi is the Korean word. That's what we're aiming for with our center punches here. Ready? Yes. it. Ugo. Yo. Aho. Yo. Good. This time, double punch. One, two. Make sure either yelling or breathing on each technique. I like to yell tia, tua, so you can just breathe. Ready? Go. Ready, toe, set, net, toss it, yes it, ugo, yodo, aho, 
Yo. Good. This time, triple punch. We're going to mix up our tie We're doing a low punch, middle punch, and high punch. Tia, tua, asa. One, two, and three. Ready? Low punch one, center punch two, high punch three. Again, low, center, ha. Good. Now, all three. Go. 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 Last one. Go. And bado, jumbo position. Yeah. Sinyat, komatsumida. And relax. Now, for today, we are going to need something to hold onto. So either find a spot on your wall to hold onto, or pull out a chair to hold onto, grab an arm of the couch, back of a chair, whatever. Grab something and hold onto it. So we're going to be working some bounce drills for today. Now, real fast, while you're doing that, let's talk about some of these Korean words. We use chibet, we use kinyat, we use komatsumida. Let's add some new words to our vocabulary. First of all, dobuk means our uniform, so what we wear in the karate class. You might just call this a uniform. In Japanese, they call this a gi. In Korean, it's called a dobak. So we wear a dobak to our karate class, to our Thomas Do class. Next of all, over top of that, we wear a belt. This is called D in Korean. D, just like the fourth letter in the alphabet. And then finally, the place we train. Now, right now, I'm not in one. Right, I'm in a living room. But usually we train at a karate studio or dojan is the Korean word. Dojo, you've probably heard before, is the Japanese word. Dojang is the Korean word. So we train in a dojang, we wear a dobok, and over top of it, a d. Dojang is where we train. Dobok is our uniform. Over top of that, a d. Okay? Just a few more words you can add to your Korean vocabulary. Okay, so let's grab that thing that we're going to hold on to. I'm going to use my wall back here. Whatever you're going to use is fine. We're going to work on our balance for our kicking skills. Now, our balance comes from our core. It's going to be easy when we're holding on to something, and then later we'll try it freestanding without anything to help us. So first we're practicing our front kick. I'm going to pick your knee up as high as it can go, and then set it back down, and the other knee up as high as you can go, and stretch it out. And put it down, other leg up, and other leg up. Great, so now I'm gonna practice our kick from that position, we're doing our front kick. So we're gonna keep our knee high, we're gonna snap and kick our front kick, and then go back to this position. This position is called our chamber, that's us getting ready to kick. Every time we do a kick, we always chamber before we snap the kick out. So we're going to practice the chamber and the kick. Grab onto something, pick one leg up. We're going to try five front kicks from here. Ready? Front kick, one. Keep that knee up. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Set it back down. Now we use the other leg. Same thing. Knee high. Front kick, one. Two. Three, four, five. Good job, and set it back down. Excellent. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it a little bit slower. This is going to be really hard to do for your legs. So if you need to bring your kick down a little bit from how high it usually is, that's fine. Just do your best. So pick up one leg. It's going to be slow, extend, slow, retract and then hold, okay? Ready? Five in a row. Kick slow one, and back. Kick slow two, and back. Kick slow three, and back. Kick slow four, and back. Last one, kick slow five, and back. Good job. Now the other leg. I don't know if you're really starting to feel this. I was working a lot of these slow kicks with Master Floss last night, plus bike ride today, plus more slow kicks for our beginning class. So my legs are killing me. Hopefully you guys are working hard too. All right, other leg now. Ready? Slow kick one. Slow kick two. Slow kick three. 
slow kick two, slow kick three, slow kick four, and last one, slow kick five. Well done, shake it up. All right, now we do the same thing with our roundhouse kick. So for our roundhouse kick, our chamber points not in front of us, but out to the side. So front kick, my body's forward, my chamber's forward. For my round kick, I turn my body over, but I still pull my knee forward at my target. And then I kick with the top of my foot. So I'm gonna do the same chamber, holding onto something, round kick, pick it up high, and we're gonna snap five kicks out from there. Ready? Pick it up. Round kick one, two, three, four, five, and set it down. Now the other leg. Pick it up, point that knee. You want to bring your foot up almost like you're kicking yourself in the butt. This kick should be coming across, not up like we did for the front kick. Ready? Round kick one. Two, three, four, and five. And relax, shake it out. All right, now we gotta do it slow. This is the hard part. Take one leg up. Here we go, five slow in the air. Ready? Kick slow, one. And back slow. Kick slow, two. Kick slow, three. Kick slow, four. And last one, kick slow, five. Okay, other left. Pick it up, ready? Kick slow, one. Kick slow, two. Kick slow, three. Kick slow, four. And last one, kick slow, five. Well done, shake it out. Okay, so now we do it without holding on to something. This is gonna be the challenge mode. So we're working on our balance. Now, when we keep our balance, a few things I want you to focus on. Number one, your plant leg should be slightly bent. Number two, your hand should be up just like our fighting stance. We wanna keep our everything tight. If one arm comes out, we tend to fall that way. So keep everything in nice and tight. And lastly, your core has to be nice and tight too. Just like when we're working sit-ups or planks or anything like that, those exercises that work our core also help with our balance. So I'm gonna pick one leg up, keep everything tight, bend that plant leg just a little bit, try and hold our balance here. We do five front kicks, not slow. We're just gonna go fast, five front kicks from that chamber position, okay? Ready, one leg. Ready, five kicks, one, two, three, four, five, and down. Good, now the other leg. Pick it up, everything tight, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. And now we try it with our roundhouse kick. So same deal, we wanna try and keep our body tight. I also want to focus on your knee. If our body is moved, the more our body moves, that is, the more we're going to lose our balance. The more we can keep things still, the easier it is to keep our balance. So it's a little bit easier with the front kicks. With the round kicks too though, we want to keep our knee in the same spot every time we kick, the knee stays put. If I kick and let my knee drop, I tend to wobble. So keep that knee up. We're going to try five roundhouse kicks. Now remember, if you make a mistake, you get two round kicks in and you lose your balance, that's it. You got to give up on karate forever. No, just kidding. If you touch the ground, that's okay. You get back up, you try again, okay? Always okay to make mistakes. Ready? Five round kicks. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try that leg again. Same leg. Go. One, two, three, four, five. 
Nicely done. Let's try the other leg now. Remember, if you make a mistake, just pick it up and keep trying. Five round kicks, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, same thing, same leg. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Nicely done. Shake it out. Let's see how much time we got here. Okay, excellent. Good time. Okay, we're going to come back to that at the end of class for a challenge with the kids. But for now, let's move on to some blocking skills from our fighting stance. So attention. Right leg back fighting stance. Hands up. So a lot of times in Thomas Sudo Karate, we work these big blocks, low blocks, high blocks, inside to outside blocks. For today, we're going to work small blocking. This blocking is a little bit more like emergency blocking. If I can see the attack coming in time, I would rather do a big block, hit the bad guy's arm. Hopefully, they don't want to hit me with it again. Okay? I'm going to do some small blocks. These are covers. Mostly, these are defending against hook punches or haymakers. So, hook punches, haymakers are coming all the way around, probably aiming to hit us across the face or hit us in the side. So, these are our covers. From here, I'm going to take one hand, put it back on my neck, and bring my elbow up towards my forehead. Again, back to here, cover. Back to here, and cover. So this way, an attack that's coming over here to my side, I'm just going to cover and keep myself safe. Again, I call this emergency blocking because I'd rather just be out of the way or I'd rather intercept it before it gets to me. But if I'm too slow with either of those things, I can cover here for my defense. Now the same thing with the other arm. I bring it back to my neck, my elbow comes up, and I cover my head here. And back, one more time, cover and back down. So we have two covers for two sides. Cover one, cover two, and reset. Again, cover one, cover two, and reset. Last time, cover one, cover two, and reset. Good, now I want to add it to a combination with some punching skills. So we're going to throw our attacks first. Punch one, punch two, and then cover one, cover two. Let's do it slow together. Punch one, punch two, cover one, cover two, and reset. We're always starting with our front hand. Let me turn sideways when we do the same thing again. This time you guys get a different angle. Ready? Punch one, punch two, cover one, and cover two. Reset. Now all four, I say go. We do one, two, three, and four. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Go. 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 Last one. Go. Excellent work. I now want to throw in some more punching skills. So usually we do our straight punches in karate. We do have hook punches and uppercuts. You see those a lot more in traditional boxing, in kickboxing, in Muay Thai. We do a little bit of them today. So our hook punches. We're going to pick one arm out here. We're going to aim to hit with our big two knuckles, just like we hit with our straight punch. But this time, we're coming around and hook it in again. Again, one arm out, and then hook it in. I'm using mostly my body for the hook punch, and then just a little bit my arm. Mostly body, a little bit arm. Then the other arm, mostly body, a little bit arm. Ready? Lock one out and twist. Then the other, lock it out and twist. Don't use too much of your arm. If it's mostly your arm swinging, you can mess up your shoulder that way. Use your body. Ready? Hook punch one, hook punch two. Again, hook punch one. Hook punch two. Last time, hook punch one, hook punch two, and we set. Okay, so let's put it together. Now it's going to be punch, punch, straight, straight, cover, cover, 
hook, hook. Six techniques all together. Watch again from the angle. One, two punches, one, two covers, one, two hooks. Ready? All six, go. And reset. Nice sit down again, go. Ready, go. Good, if you're in the hang, but you can go a little bit faster, but don't get sloppy. Sometimes when we go too fast, our techniques get sloppy. We lose the technique. If you have a good technique, it's easy to add speed. If you have speed, it's hard to add good technique. Ready? All six, go. Go. Good, I wanna switch our feet and just do the same thing with the other side in front. Always starting with our front hand first. All six, go. Last one, best one. Go. And well done. Sure, that means relax. Excellent work. So we're gonna finish off with a challenge with our roundhouse kicks, working our balance. And then we're gonna do a little bit of plank to keep working those core muscles to make our balance better. So here's the challenge for your roundhouse kick. You're going to see how many round kicks you can do in a row without putting your foot down. Okay, so I pick my knee up, I stab and kick, one, two, I'm gonna count out loud as I'm doing my kicks and see what number I can get to. If my foot touches the floor, I'm out, I gotta start over at one. If you can get five kicks in a row, that's already impressive, we were trying to get that earlier. If you can get more than that, fantastic. Do your best to keep your knee up. Obviously it's kind of up to you to count, but if you're kicking and losing your balance every time, Maybe that doesn't count so much. Try and keep your knee up. One, two, three, as many as you can do, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a minute to practice on this side and then a minute to practice on the other left. Ready? Get set and go. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Pick it back up and keep trying. If you can go this whole minute keeping it up, all power to you, but if you lose your balance, just get up and try again. Thirty seconds in. We're gonna switch feet on a little bit. Keep going this leg. I know I might be tired. Try and challenge yourself. If you can do five in a row, try at least six. 10 more seconds. And time. Okay, let's switch it up and try the other leg now. See how many you can get in a row. Ready? And go. We're trying to keep that knee in place. Halfway there. Fifteen more seconds.
three, two, one, and time. Okay, well done. Okay, so we're gonna finish off with some plank. We are going to do two rounds of plank. We're doing low plank, so you guys should know push-up position pretty well. Hands here, feet out, hold your body flat. That's push-up position or high plank. Low plank is gonna be on our elbows and forearms. I'm gonna make two fists, put them down like so. Legs out and body flat. You can do it from your knees as well. That would be a slightly easier version. But you want to make sure your body is flat here if you're doing it from your knees. Try not to have the position here. Okay? So knees or feet. We're going to try and do 30 second plank. Do your best. Ready? Get set and go. Body flat, squeeze those tummy muscles. Remember the same muscles we're working for a balance. Don't let your butt pop up. Body flat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Excellent work. Now we're going to try the same thing, round two. If you made it the whole 30 seconds, fantastic job. We're going to do that same thing again. If you didn't quite make it 30 seconds, that's okay. See if you can go a little bit farther this time. All right, here we go. Low plank position. Body marks, get set, and go. Eyes up, don't look down at your feet. Halfway, you can do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Okay, anything you can do to work your core is going to help you with your balance. So sit ups, crunches, plank, all that stuff helps you with your balance because that's where your balance comes from here. Keep your body tight and keep your balance. So real fast, let's review the Korean words we learned today and then we'll bow out. Today we learned, obviously, Chilya, Kumyat, and Kuok Suida, we learned before. We also learned Dojang, where we train. Dobuk is our uniform, and D is our belt. Again, we train in A, Dojang. We wear A, Dobuk. And over top of that, A, D, okay? That space here, shall we have? And yet we say, come up to me, da. Put your right hand up, high total set, tongue su. Let me get, let me know what you guys think of these 30 minute lessons, if you prefer the hour long lessons. At the moment, I think we're gonna do the hour lessons on Friday, and then 30 minute lessons on Monday and Wednesday. That way we get a little bit of variety. Thanks for coming everybody, and I will see you next time.